now running on Facebook. We are live with Cully and Mirka and John. And hello. Class will be live. Hello. hello. How's everyone doing today? Uh, things are going pretty okay. How are you guys? I'm okay. Kind of. Okay. Mer- odd, odd week, that's for sure. Huh. Hasn't been a best. At least the weather's getting better. Well, maybe there it is. <laughs> not not that great right here. <laughs> no, it was like yeah. seventy and sunny and beautiful out. Yesterday. It's like it's like fifty degrees and gray and a little damp out here. Well, that's not good. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, go around the horn here. Marca is in tour in Italy. Yeah. And what are you what are you working on today, Marca? Now I'm working on a little um, pin-up of uh, my new character for my new comic, Mercy. And uh, I'll do some copic. I'll do ink and copic. And... And and it's going to be beautiful? (laughs) I hope. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) We we all hope, right? I mean... (laughs) Yeah, yeah. We all hope. Also because I, I'm really ex- excited also because I don't speak very well English, so I hope to not to do not sound uh, too bad. Yeah, it's better than what I'm <laughs> Yeah, I can assure you your English is is a lot better than my Italian. Uh, <laughs> meaning that my Italian is non-existent, so. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you're good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate that. Now let's uh, see what the... Uh, what are you working on uh, over in the Costa Rican rainforest? John? Is that good, John? John, can you hear us, John? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Everything okay. I, I'm trying to do a full, a full yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Could you hear me? We can hear you. And we also, real quick, have got Klaus Jensen coming in from New York City. Hey, Klaus. Hey, hey. Hey, Klaus. We are live on YouTube and Facebook. Hi. Okay. Hello. Hey, guys. Hey, Marco. Hello. Hey, Cully. Hey. Klaus, you look fantastic. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good today. The, the worst part of this is seeing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is this is why none of us are looking at ourselves. That's you know exactly this? right. I, I see the advantages to this immediately. <laughs> That's amazing. How are you guys, by the way? How is everybody? Uh, doing okay. How are you? You're 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 sheltered in place, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The rumor is that the. Uh, we're going to get, well, New York is locked down, so, but yeah. uh, the rumor is that the country will be locked down tomorrow. The country? The country, yeah. In in, in what yeah. sense? Like, no flights in or out and yeah, everybody Yeah, something along those lines, yeah, something along those lines. I'm not sure of the details. I just heard that that's, 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 what the ru- that's what the rumor is. You know, I'm sure you have your own rumors, right? Come on. I mean, I see rumors. I, you know... Don't know that I necessarily give credence to things until they're closer to happening. Right, right. But this seems inevitable, uh, uh, anyways. Cully, where are you? You're in Texas, right? Austin, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And where's John? John, you're. Are you home? I think John's at home in Costa Rica. He's he's a little delayed, I think. In right. It doesn't appear that oh, he's I... eating potato chips this time. That is true. Because <laughs> last time it sounded, it sounded like he was eating potato chips. Yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> it's eating potato chips. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. We've got a little over 30 people watching us now. Oh, I think John's rebooting. He got some new internet this week, so maybe he's having some technical oh. difficulties. And Is John see. having problems with his uh, connection? Yes. He just got a new uh, setup. So I'm sure he'll be back in a minute. 
Sure. Hey, Diane. Diane says, hey, everybody. Hey, what Diane. up, Diane? Hi. We're just hanging. I don't know. You want to do a show and tell, Klaus? What, what, what do you got in those big flat files behind you? Anything good? Uh, the flat files, they are, um, you know, where I keep all my uh, original art. <laughs> uh, I'll show you what I'm working on. Uh, this is what I was working on last night. Can you see that? Uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Wow. Well, so this is from uh, Sacred Creatures, the next volume. Um, oh, nice. I'm waiting. Very great. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Great. Uh, I'm waiting for uh, <laughs> pages from John Jr. for Action Comics. Let me see what I have in my files. Let's see what I got. Klaus, did you pencil that page, or is that someone else? I did, yeah, I did pencil it. Yeah, yeah. This, the Sacred Creatures is uh, my pencils and my inks, yeah. Um, when is that one supposed to come out? Uh, well, we were thinking about the fall, but uh, I think everything, I don't know, you tell me, I think everything's just been delayed, don't you think? Yeah, and I would imagine everything's going to at least be put on, you know, on hold for a month or two. Yeah. And I think the retailers are having an issue. Yeah. Well, that's, that's yeah, it's pretty much obviously the case. Yeah. I mean, I was reading this morning, the smaller companies seem to be, you know, on, on hiatus for a month or two. Yeah, it seems like that's going around. I mean, I, I saw, I, from what I hear, Valiant is is taking a little break, as is like Dian, uh, Dynamite and, and Vault, I think, are kind of all doing the same thing. That's right. That's right. Are the uh, local comic shops opened in your neighborhood? In my neighborhood? Yeah. Uh, they're open, but they, they seem to be doing... Um, like uh, curbside service and that sort of thing. It seems like most of the stores are, are closed. The ones that are sort of still open have a limit on how many people can be inside at any one time. Yeah, that's and, right. Uh, um, yeah, so, you know, I, I had to go to office, uh, like an like office max or something yesterday, and they, they had a 50-person limit on the store. Yeah. Yeah, same thing here. They started that today. Mm -hmm. huh. I liked the, uh, the the commissions you've been doing, Cully. You're you're a oh, really thank good you. artist. Yeah. No, <laughs> thank you. Huh. No, you really are. You know. No, it's good. It's a, it's a excellent work. Thank you, Klaus. I like the tones too. Doing a good job. Well, I try. That's why I'm not drawing, by the way, because, you know, you're too much of a competition. Really? Is this a competition? Absolutely. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And then I've got to deal with John, too. <laughs> <laughs> Where's John? John, uh, I think John's trying to reboot again. Hey, Dan. Hey, Brian. Hey, Jordan. Hey, what Dad. up? We're watching Cully's uh, back back of his head. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe I could zoom in a little bit on that on the actual art, huh? Cully, where did you plug in your headphones? Where are they plugged in? Just to my desktop computer. I I, I, I used my for the last couple of of, uh, of times I used my phone, but this time I, I I took the webcam off of my desktop and moved it over to my desk. And then I plug just plugged into my desktop because it seems to be a better, you know, sort of system. A little more stable. Yeah, interesting. John's back. Hey, John. Can you hear me? Maybe not. That's okay. Oh, John. Hey. We can hear his pencil. Right. I think he can hear us. You can hear it burning up the road. It's good oh. to see John drawing. I guess uh, you just finished that piece uh, to send to me, right, John? That's amazing. Thank you. <coughs> I know. Uh, oh, 
Oh, nice. Oh, so cool. So, Klaus, tell us stories. <laughs> Story time with uh, Klaus Jansen. <laughs> tell us stories. Yeah, tell us some stories. How about a story about my assistant who murdered his girlfriend? That's a good one. I've heard that story, but I want to hear it again. Is I can't true? tell it. Why not? Is he going to sue you? It's too misogynistic. Did that happen? That did happen. Yes. You know, I used to tell that story to my class at SVA every Christmas. Uh, <laughs> and then I then I realized it was really in bad taste. <laughs> I mean, you know, at Christmas, yeah, it's pretty, it's more of a Halloween story, I would think. <laughs> yeah. Now, oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> hey, Cully, uh, Jordan says it'd be great if you can get Brian to come on and uh, and paint. Uh, I could ask him. I'm sure he'd be interested. Yeah, I love watching Brian paint. And, you know, Brian is also quite the conversationalist, as as you know. Yeah, he's a great, he's a great guest. I will ask, I will ask him and see if he can do it this week. Well, there you go, Jordan. Boom. Can't promise anything. Uh, so what other stories you have then? You, you just tease us with your his murder story. Yeah, what other murder, who, which other murderers do you know, Klaus? Uh, let me think for a minute. Uh, I think that was the only one. Yeah. I mean, it's not something I go around bragging about. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, you know. Unless you're on a live stream with, <laughs> with a bunch of people watching. Right, there's nothing else to say. <laughs> Klaus is like, let's uh, let's talk murder, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> did Did you drive him to murder him or her? Was it you? No, I, I, I don't think I did uh, at all. Um, he was, um, I mean, he was an interesting, kind of an odd guy, you know. Uh, but you know, it's too long a story. I can't get into it. Uh, it's, it's, and it's offensive in every single way. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't, you know. I'll tell you what, Christmas time. <laughs> okay. Christmas during the holiday. Okay. We will hold you to that. And you're going to do it on the live stream, right? Of course, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, why not? No. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, don't worry, Jordan. Uh, you couldn't make it to San Diego last year. I don't think any of us are going to make it to San Diego this year, unfortunately. So is that a done deal? Is there going to be a San Diego this year, do you think? I, uh, there's no official word, but if I were a gambling guy, which I am, I would, I would bet that they don't have it. Yeah. Klaus and I were just talking about this before we get online. And, um, you know, I would guess that, you know, it's an obvious thing to have a convention online, right? Isn't that the next, the next thing that we'll, we'll be looking at? I mean, that's kind of what we're doing, isn't it? Right. I think that's right. Yeah. Timothy says, uh, Klaus, that looks like one mighty dang impressive flat file. <laughs> Loud. <laughs> when Jason comes over, the, he, he comes over, and that's the first thing he goes to is the flat file because there's art in there. Right. He, Jason, he doesn't care about you. He, he he shoes me away from it. He's like, get you know, get out of here. You know, it's like uh, uh, little rats that. that okay, okay, well, how about how about if I take the iPhone and walk around the studio? Uh, sure. Yeah, you guys want to see Klaus's studio? I'll give you a tour of the studio. Uh, all right, let's see. Thank you. Dan. You don't have to look at me. Okay. Here's my files. <laughs> Open, uh, open one or two of those things. Let's see what's in there. Yeah, yeah. No. Here's my commission drawer. There's a little. Uh, uh, can you see that? Uh, a Punisher yep. sketch I did for for Ralph's anniversary. Ralph Macchio. Oh, nice. Uh, let's see. 
let's see. Here's part of a unpublished Batman story uh, that I was working on, that mm. I'm no longer working on at the moment. Looks like you have to organize those, those flat files, uh, Klaus. Uh, yeah. Here's the, that's a Batman page from that story. So mm. Batman on it. Uh, but yeah, this is all full of uh, full of art. The whole the whole thing. Here's uh, a, a bookcase. Here's uh, here's a here's a letter by from Archie Goodwin. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And, oh, where is it? Where is it? I can't get. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Uh, Archie wrote me a letter telling me that uh, I'll read it to you. Can I read it to you? Yeah. Sure. All right. Uh, this was from 1977, and I had walked into his office, and I was like, he was the editor in chief at the time, and I was really depressed because I thought I was doing really shitty work, which I was. <laughs> and so he, I left his office, and he ran down the hallway at Marvel. And he had this piece of paper in his hand and he gave it to me and it was a letter that he wrote to me. And he said, just a short note to give you a bit of confidence. I personally rate you as one of the five, six, 10 best inkers in the comics business. I am constantly amazed and delighted with the quality and quantity of working of your work consistently delivering to us despite the handicaps blah 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 and you are one of the mainstays of marvel and a credit to your race that's archie he's a uh, nice. extremely nice and nice guy here's a sketch that marie severin did of me where is it can you see that um, jason does that for you can you see it yeah just the, the there's a glare from uh yeah oh uh, yeah Okay. Oh, I see it. Are you peeing? <laughs> Am I peeing? Yes. Yes, I'm peeing. <laughs> You're a flasher. Is that it? Here's my uh, my work desk uh, where I actually do work. Uh, this is uh, my Cintiq. Nice. Use that a lot. I have to get some work done. These are some uh, Frank Miller and Klaus Janssen pages hanging on the wall. Which issue is that from? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't, you know, there's the, yeah, I don't know. But it's early, obviously, you know. I mean, it's, so there's that. Here's a uh, sacred cover. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Here's a here's a Batman cover. Beautiful. Wow, nice. Beautiful. Which I, I like. I like that one. Um, that's right. Here's what about uh, that Jack Kirby where I draw on my hands. What was that? Your Jack Kirby. Oh, my Jack Kirby. Oh. That's what I'm gonna steal first, Klaus. Here's the, oh, let me turn the light off. Yeah, that's my Jack Kirby piece. It's pretty big. Uh, Dr. Doom, of course. Uh, here's that, the Spawn Batman cover that I did. Uh, uh, yeah, nice. that's it. No big deal. Here's, uh, here's my family that I don't speak to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. That's it. I didn't know you had a dog. Apparently, I do. Come on, Rover. What kind of a dog? That, you see that uh, that clip of Arnold Schwarzenegger feeding his his donkey? Yeah, his ponies. Yeah. That's hilarious. I love that one. Yeah, it's really funny. 
I, I realized the other day that I was losing my marbles because I was watching a video of Anthony Hopkins playing his piano with his for his cap. <laughs> oh, you're gonna send me that. And, and I thought, what the heck am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing with my life? No. Trying to fill the time. Correct. Anthony Hopkins playing piano for his cat. Funniest thing ever. <laughs> oh, God. Hilarious. Uh, Diane's asking if she can live in your studio, Klaus. Who? Diane. Diane? Sure. Absolutely. I could use the company. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that's a really nice drawing marker. I love that. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is this going Sorry. to be... Let's see what Cully's doing. You drawing Spider-Man? No, I am drawing uh, something, someone I almost never draw, which is Wolverine. Not usually called on to draw him, so... I was like, well, I'll do something I never do. And John is working on Superman, I can see. He's just ignoring us at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it's his way. Uh, Dan is saying this is, 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 is so wholesome compared to when Eric and Sean and... <laughs> it's what are Eric and Sean doing? Uh, we were told maybe not to use uh, foul language since there might be some younger audience members. Oh, well, I agree with that, sure. Yeah. Klaus yeah. would be the one to drop the F-bombs. Yeah, that's true. I'm 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 cooperating here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dave is supposed to come in as well, but we don't know where he is. Yeah, what's up with that? If we can find him real quick. I I think we really do need to to see more of. Um, the workspace that you guys are working in. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I would, I would, I mean, I suppose I could turn my camera around, but uh -huh. I've got it set up just so nice, you know. Just, well, don't, don't, don't interrupt your flow, but. Yeah. I, you know, at the, since school is closed at the School of Visual Arts, we've been, you know, uh, teleconferencing and, and doing online classes and all that other stuff. But one of the interesting things that I, I've noticed in the teleconferencing with all the teachers, including David Mazzucchelli, by the way, um, I'm such a geek when it comes to David, I have to I confess. Oh, don't, don't tell him that. But <laughs> the thing I noticed is... You know, the, oh, the, the space that people have are filled with books, and it struck, it struck me as just so being so unusual that we're from a generation that has bookcases and books, and and I don't think kids do that these days. I don't know. What do you think? I, I find that I am in the I am in the sort of the generation with one foot in both because. I broke in in uh, 1991, which was a little bit pre, pre digital, or it was just starting to turn digital. So, we at our studio, when I was at Gaijin, we had an entire room set aside that was just our, our reference library. So it was about the, we just had an extra office in the in the in the studio that was just we had pulled all of our reference books. Uh, now, when I moved to Austin, you know my partner is an academic and I just have a lot of books. So like most of our move was just our books. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've, I've got a couple of, I've got, I've got a few full bookcases in, in my office as well. But, you know, people who kind of got in when I got in, you know, yeah, there's very definitely a, uh, 
a, a kind of a, a combination between like what creators now are doing and and uh, um, you know more of an analog. Colin, where where um, where do you uh, what's your source for reference? I'm sorry. <laughs> What is your go-to source for reference? Is it I mean, look, I, I'll have to admit, it's, it's so easy to simply roll my chair back and look something up on the internet most of the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe depend on your editor sometimes to uh, yeah. to actually, you know, send you stuff. But, uh, yeah. I mean, most of the books, I mean, I've got a lot of art books. I've got a lot of books that, you know, I've gotten over the years, you know, as comps, you know, from... DC and Marvel and stuff like that. Just books of people of people's work who I like. But uh, yeah, I mean, as far as just straight reference, like oh, I need to know what this building looks like or whatever. I mean, I I generally will just you know roll back and and look on the internet. Yeah. And it used yeah, to not be too. that way. It's just so convenient. Yeah. Oh, but I find I find it so fascinating because the kids in class don't seem to have a natural ability to use reference. They don't know how to do it. Interesting. And it seems like it's something that they have to learn. Which I find puzzling because it seems like, you know, you use reference. I mean, what's the big deal? Right? Now, are you saying that they're resistant to using reference at all, or they don't know how to look for it and how to apply it? That's right. They don't know how to apply it. Huh. That's right. New Jersey just got uh, sorry, the class, the New Jersey just got the stay at home order from the governor. Well. Oh, so that New Jersey is locked down? Yep. Sorry to interrupt. No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's just our lives. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I'm used to staying in anyway, but the fact that I can't go out now is more troublesome. Well, I mean, you can go out. You just can't. You know, they don't want you to, like, just be out doing whatever. You know? <laughs> they, whatever. they don't want you to. They don't want you to be, you know, <clears throat> Parting, you know, and that sort of thing. That's true. You can go out and you know buy groceries if you need it. That sort of thing. Are you guys experiencing a lot of shortages where you are? A lot of what, Klaus? Uh, I said, are you guys experiencing a lot of uh, a lot of shortages of you know supplies still where you are? Um, hey, Mirka, have you been able to go outside shopping at all? And I'm there, sorry? Is there enough uh, food and stuff where you are in Italy? Um, I'm sorry. The problem is that there is a rumor, uh, not rumor, sorry, uh, noise, and they don't listen very well. I would no, be willing, I I'd be willing to bet that that's John. <laughs> No, it's uh, Klaus. <laughs> I isolated it. Uh, Klaus has um, some crackling on his line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I, now I can mm. hear here. So what's the what was the question? Sorry. Uh, the question is: uh, In Italy, do you have enough supplies and food at the grocery in the stores? At the moment, we have not everything, but uh, we have uh, many things. For example, uh, we can find uh, masks. Uh, the masks. Uh, we can't find the masks for the air. We can't find at all. So we we are supposed to, if we go out to use that, but we don't have. And uh, but uh, in, anyway, uh, we arrived when we arrived here oh, one week ago, and I never, always at home, never outside. Uh, we have uh, some friends. Uh, we have to stay in quarantine because we tra we did the uh, we are traveling. So we we are okay, but to be sure, it's better if we stay two weeks uh, two weeks uh, at home, not outside at all. The problem is that uh, I I have many things in my studio that is uh, outside my home, mm. but that's okay.
What's the character's name that you're working on, Mirka? She's Lady Helene from my comic, Mercy. <laughs> Very cool. Well, Thank you. Let's see where I think Klaus is rebooting. Trying to get his. Hey, Yaroslav. Hey, Kristoff. Let's check in what John's working on. John, is that Superman? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> well, there, well, I'm actually shot of what I'm doing. I heard, I heard he's the best at what he's <laughs> doing. That's what I hear, too. Uh, we got Klaus coming back in. Klaus, can you hear us now? Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. It's a little better. Um, Mirka, there's a question for you. Was wondering, yeah. do you make sure you get finished slash keep already available interiors with multiple issues of books when you proceed to contact editors? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> there is always noise. I don't know why. Don't know. Just a moment. Know. She's reading. Uh, she's reading uh, yeah, editor. I'm reading the comments because... Uh, do you make sure sei sicura di aver finito uh, interiors per, multi, per diversi issue di, un, di una serie mm -hmm. quando procedi a contattare gli editor? No, Intendo, mi ha detto un amico che Mercy 1 era solo una sorta di introduzione uh, perché non ci sono molti approfondimenti eccetera io ho visto che uh, negli nel... issue 2, 3, 4 sono stati molto vicini ho capito questa domanda to be honest this question is a little uh, I did not understand very well sorry uh, di che gli uh, albi in America sono capito ah well sure in America image comics makes uh, my comic uh, uh, publish my comic in chapters 20 page more or less 20 page each, each chapter an issue an american issue is like that in europe uh in italy also we and in france and a lot of countries we have uh, uh, the the book like this this is uh, the volume ah this cover is by umberto ramos and uh, in uh, Europe, inside this book, there are two chapters. So you have to wait uh, for read uh, the entire first book in America because uh, in America uh, they are they are out in, in chapters, in short short, short chapters. I'm really yeah. Uh, David is, is helping me because my English is terrible. Sorry. Uh, and but now I'm already working on uh, the last pages of uh, the second volume and uh, on the yeah, the chapter four, the issue four. So I'm really, I'm really in advance, uh, compared to the to the publish publishing. Ah, my English today is terrible than ever. This one is not so bad, I, I, I swear. But today, I don't know why, it's really, really terrible. I'm very sorry. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's that, David. But just on time, we've got uh, Dave Johnson, who's, who's coming in here. Hey. 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 Now the party begins. Now, now it really begins. <laughs> There goes my zipper. Oh. Ah. <laughs> How are you feeling, Dave? I feel good. No, no corona on me so far. I'll give it some time. Yeah. Yeah. We're waiting for all those uh, spring breakers to come back to give it to everybody. Florida uh, is after us all. All 
Uh, Dave, you got a, a comment from Dana saying, Dave, love what you're doing on the covers over the last few years, man. I oh, appreciate it. Well, looks like John got got to reboot. What are you working on there, Dave? It's upside down. Uh, it's a commission of uh, the recreation of Captain America. You took the order. Uh, I forget. Hey, why aren't you drawing, Klaus? Klaus? Hello? Klaus, can you hear Dave? He's Glad just you. rubbing his lip. Do you? Uh, yeah, he's asking you uh, how come you're not drawing. <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> I don't, I, well, tell him why. You know why. He doesn't want to make you guys look stupid. Well, that's. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I don't have my tripod yet. He's, he's waiting on his. Uh, can you can hear him? Yeah, Dave. Yeah, yeah, I can hear him. Okay. I think it's I'll be drawing be, next week. I think it's going to be really funny when you stand up and you hit your head on all those open drawers behind your head. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying he thinks it's funny when you're going to uh, stand up and hit your head on those drawers behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Then who's going to look stupid? About conventions. <laughs> this and the fans. Hey, Sydney. Miss Dave. I miss Just, Dave making What up, Sydney? Oh. You're saying Sydney, Sydney's depressed about missing uh, Emerald City. So, yeah, we're kind of bummed as well. Seattle's one of our favorite places to go to. It usually kicks off our season. Eight year as well, so hopefully it'll be a go in August, and we can come, you know, come and visit. Hey Klaus, you know what you should be doing is uh, showing some of that art in all those open drawers. Dave is saying, Klaus, that you should show us that art that's in those drawers. If you didn't come in late, Dave, you would have seen some of it. Oh, but instead, I just get to see him rub his lip. There's nothing in there as good as it's completely. <laughs> <laughs> nothing in his what? Okay. Dave, Dave said you were rubbing your lip, and then you immediately said, "There's nothing in there that's as good as." <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Your timing was fortuitous. <clears throat> How come I can't hear that? <laughs> hey, look, don't look at your torch in the mouth, right, uh, Klaus? Yeah, Klaus, you're not missing anything. Well, let's see. get yourself lucky. Uh, hey, Sandy, guys. Sandy, guys, asking how many conventions have we had to cancel so far? Uh, I think we're at about five or six, you know, as of today. Sandy. Excuse me, San Diego hasn't been officially canceled, but I, if, if they're up to me, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be canceled. Um, so, but we'll, but we'll see what when happens. Was it August? When, when is San Diego? Uh, July. It's usually mid July. July. So, yeah, then I come back. Yeah. As of right now. Jesus, what's that noise? <laughs> It sounds like somebody's chewing. What is that? <laughs> I think let's see. I, I think that's John. No, it's Klaus's mic, I think, from his phone. But what if I want to blame it on John? We can blame it on John, but he's not in here now. Oh, okay. Um kind of gross. <laughs> yeah, like unfortunately. <clears throat> and here's John trying to get back in. Should we let him in? Oh, all right. I don't know. Does he get the virus? I'm trying to build that wall. Let's see. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, the last, the second half of the con season will still be a go, but 
I'd be surprised if we uh, have enough to cancel. Yeah, if we're still quarantined by the time New York Comic Con rolls around. Then... Well, there probably won't be a comic book industry by then anyway, so it'll all work itself out. Yeah. What do we? What should we all go and move towards? Uh. Well, for Kelly, it'll probably be zero. Hey, Jace, I'm going to sign off. All right. <clears throat> okay, Klaus. I like what I like what everybody's doing. I'm really impressed. Um, I'll start drawing next week. Okay. See you, Klaus. Uh, hey, my tripod will come in. I'll join you. We're doing one on Saturday. Uh, next week, if you want to do Saturday, that sounds good. Just um, try to get another webcam. You know, one of these little uh, doohickeys that might might work better for audio. Okay, we'll talk. Uh, we'll talk tomorrow or later today. Then, all right. All right. Sounds good. Have a good day. See you, Klaus. Okay. Guys. All right. See you soon. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Now, what was the insult that Dave was uh, heaving my way? Oh yeah. That you were going to have to go into male prostitution. No, not one of your best. I know. It was quick. <laughs> I have a feeling uh, I'm just going to have to go work for Amazon. Speaking of Amazon, let's definitely get Klaus a better microphone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think maybe if he plugs in the earphones, it'll, uh, it'll work better. Oh, he didn't have earphones on no no he's just using from his iphone oh okay so, makes a lot of sense although what um <coughs> what webcam do you guys use? maybe i'll just forward that to him what's that what webcam do you guys use i'm using a logitech uh i don't know what the model number is but uh it's a pretty good webcam pretty high res um yeah pretty, pretty good microphone on it I think Logitech's the best brand usually. Yeah. Let's, let's get a new one. And it's not like they're super expensive or anything. No, no, they're they're pretty cheap. Yeah, this one's eight hundred dollars, so maybe maybe well, that. Yeah, maybe not that one. <laughs> yeah, I seem to remember that mine was like you know maybe eighty dollars. <laughs> let's see. I'm just going to ship some stuff to Klaus because otherwise he's not going to do it. You really look out for Klaus. Klaus is my boy. Let's see. Oh, I was your boy. You're my boy. Klaus is my boy. I have a feeling you've told a lot of people that. No, that would be Gil Kane. <laughs> My boy. My boy. <clears throat> Never met Gil Kane. Me neither. I think I saw him at a show once, but that was about his. He told me to get out of his room. You know. <laughs> My boy, what are you doing in my room? And you didn't listen to him, did you? No. Uh, Howard likes to tell stories about Gil King. Howard likes to tell stories about everything. I mean, that's <laughs> true. Actually, we should get Howard on this thing. Uh, yeah, give him a call. I don't know if he has a camera. Uh, well, I mean, he's got a phone. I think we need to give him a little bit more lead in camera. <clears throat> Knowing Howard. Let's see. Frank just texted. Frank who? Thierry? Uh, Joe. Oh. Well, it's good that comics only has one Frank, so we don't get confused. Yeah, there's, there's only two or three that we need to worry about.
right. You guys have any questions that are in the lo in the lobby here? How many people are in the lobby? Two. Uh, four. Thirty-one. Thirty. Thirty-one. Yeah. Damn. It's crowded. It's all for you, though, Dave. Not supposed to be congregating with more than ten. Let's, let's zoom in on what Mark is doing. Hey, Mirka. Hey. What, what is Davide doing when you draw all day long? Davide. Mm. <laughs> he says, he he said work, but he bore, boring me. He just, he just boring me. me. <laughs> uh, be, being being evil, evil with me. Uh. <laughs> So that's what he's supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, joking, joking. He's very good and he helps me a lot. <clears throat> Let's see. Is that better, Phil? I think there's a better angle there for you. Not a great angle on Cully. That's a little better. We were just looking at the back of your head again before. Hmm. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. That's his best angle. His best, yeah. Dave likes the top of Cully's head. But, uh... Okay, now, come on. <laughs> there are probably some children in here. There are children here, Dave. We're, we were told to scale it back a little. Oh, yeah. You don't want to get kicked off again? Uh, they reinstituted re that uh, last live stream. I oh, they did? Yeah. Yeah, because there was nothing wrong with it, right? Yeah. yeah. That was a, a Facebook and YouTube glitch. <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not kidding. They were like they were doing like some sort of a – they were running like some sort of AI or something as their content filter, and it, it started to, to mess up. Hmm. 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 Uh, Sydney has a question for you guys. Uh, says, any pet peeves you have with scripts that you wish didn't happen asking for a friend? See, Sydney has an interest in this because she's a writer, you see. So she wants to know. What a terrible question. <laughs> Sorry, I was just, you know, Trump's my new uh, go to guy when it comes to answering questions. <laughs> You're a terrible reporter. You asked a question. You're a terrible reporter. Um, for me, uh, this is not necessarily a pet peeve. I would, I'd say it's just more of a, of a preference. Uh, I don't like for the writer to kind of prescribe what angle it is, you know, that sort of thing. I, you know, angle, size of panel, shape of panel, all that kind of stuff. I'd rather that kind of be left to me. Like I'd rather a script tell me what's happening and not exactly how to, to show what's happening, because I like to I like to be able to make some decisions uh, in the process. Uh, otherwise, it kind of loses a lot of a lot of fun for me. Does that make any sense? I think it does. Um, what's the the, the camera name? It's a Logitech. But is, which Logitech camera do you have? I'm just going to buy one for Klaus. What, me? Yeah, well, yeah. And um, I mean, I don't know offhand. I can't see the, I can't really yeah, see it the, doesn't, it doesn't the number. Say any model number. But I can send it to you later on. All right. Is it like a, a rectangular, like, fin type? Yeah, mine's rectangular with uh, speakers on each side of it. Yeah, same here. Okay. It was like, 20 bucks, 30 bucks. That was more expensive than that. Yeah, come on. Kelly Hammond is talking about <laughs> and Currently unavailable. Well, I think you're going to find a lot of that right now. What's going on now? I can't find a webcam. Jeez. <laughs> 
Just don't try ordering a thermometer. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going through the same thing. I just ordered some Tylenol. That was that was a stretch. Luckily, I made sure to buy like some of that stuff a couple of weeks before this got bad. Yeah, we have plenty of Advil. Which is exactly what you're not supposed to take. Exactly. Yeah. I um when we got back from Chicago from from C two E two, I pretty much immediately started going, and I didn't hoard, but I was just just buying the things that I knew we were going to need. And you know, I didn't I didn't go and hoard toilet paper and all that kind of stupid stuff, but uh, you know, things like you know, uh, you know, cold stuff and like you know, Tylenol, and I managed to find uh, a couple of bottles of Purell, which we're going to stretch, you know. KY jelly. I usually keep a pretty good supply of that on uh, on hand. But thanks for letting the children who are watching know. Well, you know, for uh, easy thermometer uh, insertion. Right. Right. Very practical. Yeah. As you know, the best temp is the butt temp. <sighs> could, could you hear the sigh? <laughs> I do it just to make you sigh. Hmm. All right. Best Buy has them for 70 bucks. <clears throat> you never offer to buy me a Camera. It's because you, you're you already on there with one. I know, but I just want you to offer at least. Do you want me to buy one? Yeah. No. All right. I did get you a watch that I found. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Probably got coronavirus all over it. Well, it can't, it's Russian, so Russians aren't getting that coronavirus, so you're safe. Jason never gets me anything. I get you big hugs. It's because you. No. Uh, Scott, what's up? He says hi to everybody. What up, Scott? He doesn't say hi to Merka, but he says to John, Dave, Jason, and Cully, but no Merka. So Merka, Scott Sorry. seems to be a little sexist. <laughs> Sorry? My friend Scott here is sexist. Yeah, sexist. Yes, he said to, hello to everybody except for you. Oh, I'm sorry for that. Yes, me too. <laughs> Uh, but I'll say hello for him and for you. I don't know. I, Scott usually has to leave someone out. I know. I've noticed. There's always someone that gets the blunt end of Scott's uh, comments. Like, you know, he'll say nice things about everybody and then leave, like, one particular person out. Right, Scott? Exactly. All right. Looks Not like, that that's happened to me, you understand. That was a fun noise. <laughs> was that you, Dave? No. The next question is, why wasn't it you, Dave? Let's we'll see if I can make it happen just for you. <laughs> hey, yeah. Ryan. Uh, sorry for not responding. Uh, hit me up on Facebook after the stream. Um, Usually, I've been trying to step away from the computer uh, after I pack up a bunch of orders and just spend time with uh, Mo uh, and my dog. So, give me a shout a little later. Sorry if, um, if I haven't gotten back to you about um, everything, anything. About everything? About everything. Merka is not taking any commissions for the moment. Um, I'm going to. Pop in her website here, and you can always go and check it out. And David, uh, uh, David will get to you. And it's just mercadelpo.com. So you can send them an, e an email through her website. Uh oh, there's giggling happening. What's the giggling all about? 
Davide's doing his job. <laughs> that too. Uh, <laughs> <I'll cut you. laughs> it looks like webcams are all sold out everywhere. I wonder why. I'm curious myself. Could it be because none of us can leave? Sold out. I guess we should have bought stock. If only someone knew that this was going to happen and we could all buy stock in that company. <clears throat> that seems like a good <clears throat> idea. Seems like I've heard it somewhere. Uh, uh, maybe. Sold out. Sold out. Wow. Well, we're watching Dave do his thing. Uh, Mirka, she said, uh, Scott apologizes and said that um, Scott brings his dog, Big B. He's a service dog to the shows we do. Big B. He's a big fluffy poodle. Uh, so uh, he said you can you can hang out with the dog first. Ah, but no problem, no problem. We we joking. Well, to be honest, that's one of the reasons why we let Scott come because uh, he brings big B. <laughs> anyway, I love dogs, so, so thank you. Marker, do you have a dog? No, I want, but our home is small and. We travel a lot and right. we don't know. I, I, I really love them, also cats, but not actually. We don't have actually. <laughs> I think I could safely say we're all dog lovers here. And cat also cats. I like cats. I mean, I can't speak for everybody else, but uh, I've always had cats. I don't have a cat now. Mm -mm. Most cats are pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. So we've got two cats, two dogs, two turtles, a python, a gecko, <laughs> a fish, a horse. Yeah, None, no horses yet. Yeah. We got a rooster. She wants to get chicken, but. <laughs> And John's got four dogs. He's not able to use uh, the same way. He's got four dogs? I did not know that about John. Is John, can John hear us? He can, I believe, since he was leaving notes for us. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Staples has some webcams in stock. Uh, no. So All right. Uh, Scott's got four dogs, two cats, a fish, and four chickens. All right. He definitely beat us there. I don't know what kind of girl she has. Uh, Phil, Dave is working on a commission. Well, it's a re, uh, what would you call this? Uh, recreation. Recreation. An homage. Of what? Uh, Captain America cover I did years ago. Ah. A reflex stage in my career. Are you fixing it? Are you fixing it? Yeah. There you. <laughs> Klaus mine. Um, I'm just curious if you prefer not to ink directly over your pencils. Who's that? Uh, from you. Uh, Phil. Phil's no, asking. Who are they asking? You. If I, wait, what's the question? Just curious if you prefer not to ink directly over pencils. 
Uh, yeah, I've been light boxing um, pencils. I mean, you know, like I hate to erase, let's put it that way. So it's easier to, like actually, I mean, my pencils have gotten looser and looser and looser over the years. <clears throat> Is that per, by design? Well, I just, it, you know, it, it's kind of boring, you know, to sit there and I feel like I'm doing it twice, you know, like to make decisions while I'm making. I think when you've been doing this long enough, you just have to, you don't have to like, you can sort of see where you're going a little earlier than you used to. So you're a little more confident. You don't really have to you know, kind of like figure it all out before you do anything permanent. There's actually just a little bit, some, I think there's something to be said for just, you know, just diving in. There's a little more spontaneity to be had, I think, that way. Yeah, I've, I've kind of never been a fan of the super, super hyper clean inking anyway. Um, to me, it kind of lacks, it lacks uh, humanity, you know, when, when inkers get too obsessed with how clean clean a line is it just becomes you know like want to just get a laser to do it you know yeah and especially now with you know computer inks it's even more of a, a thing where it just feels it doesn't feel it doesn't feel good to me i'd rather see variation Hey, Scott, Scott's asking, are there certain pencils that are better than others? Well, it all depends on the paper. Yeah, I'd actually agree with that. I think paper is a bigger deal than what pencil you use. I mean, I'm not a big fan of like that, the, the sort of, you know, questions that are a little too specific about tools. Because, I mean, really, whatever works for you, it's so subjective. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, like, uh, you know, if, 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 a you know, I would say like if a burnt stick works for you, then just use a burnt, a burnt stick. I mean, you know. It, yeah, there's no magic tool. Yeah. Except yeah. There is a magic tool. We should sell it. You're right. Yeah. I was going to say Dave's a magic tool. And he beat me to it. I guess my question is, uh, I don't know if I should go to the post office and start, you know, getting these orders out or wait until things kind of settle down. Well, I mean, I think, you know, I sent you some stuff the other day or I sent, sent out some stuff the other day. I sent you by FedEx, but like uh, <clears throat> I also had to go to the post office and yeah, I have to admit I was standing in line there and there were a couple of people that were standing a little too close to me and coughing. Yeah. And I was sort of like, you know, get away from me, would you please? Uh, you just try to stay as far away from people as you can. Well, I just or, I mean, thankfully, like the, at least at the post office that I was at, they had a pretty generous supply of uh, hand sanitizer right there on the counter. Yeah, but this is this is a airborne thing, so. Well, but it's all it's it's an airborne thing, which is why you you stay distant from people, but it's also. You don't want to touch surfaces without sterilizing your hands. No, I get that, but I'm Which, just saying if somebody's coughing next to you, you're kind of screwed. Well, know? this is this is why you try to stay as you know uh, as far away from people as possible. No problem, Scott. I'm glad to do it. <laughs> uh, hey, I, I just ordered a bunch of FedEx supplies. I think I'm just going to have FedEx come and pick up. Um, a few times a week, starting next week. I mean, yeah, probably smart. The best option. Okay. So, so, I'm going to post this in the And I'm going to put it in Hey, CG. Thanks for stopping in. Sydney's got another question. 
which is what gets you to a yes on a project? Is it the pitch or the script or the editor, the writer, the page rate, perhaps? Uh, any combination, you know, also need, uh, like if you're, if you're, if you have need of a job that also factors into it. Um, I don't know, just kind of depends on the character and, and, and the sort of combination of, yeah, editor, writer, all that stuff. I don't know if there's any one thing that'll get me to sign on to a project. That's it. Um, just depends. What about you guys? Funyuns. Funyuns. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Maybe. <laughs> that should be easy. Let's see it. David Day. There's David. A yes. Or Mirka, if you want to ask her. What? What? Say, we can't even ask her. I didn't get sorry. Uh, I posted a question for Mirka. I think it's easier ah. for you. Sorry. Ah, okay. Siccome sei una scrittrice, ma ti pista allo stesso tempo, posso chiederti quanti libri di mezzo sono pianificati nel formato europeo? In the European format uh, are three volumes. So in America, for Image Comics will publish uh, six issues. And that's it. That's it. Uh, I wanted to make a short story. Uh, was uh, planned from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Because I love uh, change. I love. Uh, to, I, I, I'm already thinking about my next project, uh, and I prefer to make uh, short stories in general because I, I'm getting. Uh, I want something new. After a while, I'm working on something. That's it. So what do you want to work on next? Ah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Top like, secret. Sounds like something. Yeah. Ah, oh, no, CIA. Come on. CIA. Top secret CIA. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eric. Kennedy's in the room. Hey. Does he want to come in? Want to come in, Eric, and play a little? Sounds gross. Yes. Yes, it does. Next, we just got to. Wanho's uh, set up going, and then we can have Wano come back. And did you order him a camera too? I I was trying to, but there's no webcams in the in the, in the world anymore. Eric, those drawings look amazing. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> I don't know if I can believe Eric. Are you, think, are you saying he's disingenuous? Well, Why don't you believe Eric? I think the real question is why don't I believe anybody? Well, that's a question for you. True. And it's also a question for your therapist. Mm, if I had one. The real question is, why don't you have a therapist? Uh, you're my therapist, I thought. <laughs> my next question is, why is that not more pathetic? No. Here's an interesting headline. From PBS, the Federal Reserve to lend additional one trillion a day to large banks. Um, okay. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, they have to hire uh, all these new uh, representative people. You know.
Actually, Kelly, I am going to change this. What do you think about that? <coughs> what now? I am going to change my original drawing. Okay. You can do whatever you want, you know. Just give it a Liefeld-esque uh, anatomy. Good one. Good one. Ha -ha. Good one, dude. Good burn. Burn, burn on him. And we're just going to see Wolverine's crotch and Cully's. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Kelly, I sent you an up, uh, a new commission request this morning. Oh, you did? I haven't seen it. Because you haven't checked your email. Yeah, it's a Magneto's crush. I will. I will. <laughs> I will do it when I'm off of this. What is it? Uh, probably Quinn and Poison. Maybe. Is it for you? No. <laughs> no, it's not. It's um, a two-character one. Nice. Then I will jump on that uh, later today. Wow, who's that? That's uh, a uh, Juan Ho's checking in. Juan Ho, he says he's at home getting fat, like all of us. That's it. One ho! <laughs> That's my new battle cry. If we were to have a battle cry, all right. This sounds like the beginning of a of a Broadway play or a '60s television show. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh man, speaking of '60s, uh, Amazon uh, suggested the other day um, Alan Funt. What do you say to a naked lady? Oh, yeah, God. Yeah, I remember those. Oh, man. What a time capsule. I used to rent those when I was like, I don't know, 16 or something. Yeah, you thought it was going to be full of naked people, right? Yeah. And then it wasn't. I was like, oh, man, what a chip. But no, some of the some of the sketch, uh, some of the skits they did would have been instant lawsuits nowadays. Nowadays, the youngsters call that being punk, Jason, or Dave, or whoever you are. Yeah, one of the uh, one of the segments really blew me away, and it really it I I don't even understand it because it had it just I I'm not really sure what the deal was, but here's here's I don't know if you can it, uh, can you wait, hold on. you show us your TikTok Dave? No, no, I took a screenshot of it, but check this out, Kelly. What the hell? A few thoughts about rape. Oh my God! Really? I know. I was, like, I was like, "What the hell is this about?" And it really—it made no sense. It literally made no sense. Uh, yeah. Put that down. But yeah, if you if you want to check out a just a crazy time capsule of a time gone by, man, that movie is nuts. Hey, Mike Rice. Whoa. Sorry, lost my camera there. 
I'm going to <laughs> I haven't had lunch. <laughs> Is Jason slave driving you again? Sure. It's the only thing I do. It's my thing. It's retribution. So any thoughts about what's going to happen to all the comic book stores if uh, this gets going? They're all going to close up, just like every other store in the country. Well, I know, but it might be closing permanently. Oh, yeah, hopefully not. <clears throat> we'll see if some of those $1 trillion gets funneled to the small businesses. No, I doubt it. They don't pay the congressman's salary. No, I do not. Oh, Kali. There's Kali. Yeah, for some reason, I uh, lost the signal for a second. Man. It's probably when you dropped your phone on the ground and happened. <clears throat> Might have been that. It's not my phone. So, Kelly, what's your backup plan when uh, the, the industry takes a giant dump? <laughs> uh, hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> what's yours? Well, I'm trying to write more. I mean, you know, like other mediums. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of my, you know, other than that, I don't really have much of a plan. Unfortunately, one does not go into comics with a plan. That's true. I mean, it was a good run, you know, like the way I look at it. I feel like no matter what happens, there's going to be something that you call comics. I don't know what that's going to be. Yeah. You know, much like I, I was saying this the other day, it's like, you know, Radio now is not what radio was when we started, in, you know, when radio started. When radio started, it was it was the main media, you know. And there's still radio, but it doesn't serve the same function that it used to. Uh, I, I feel like they'll probably just be, you know, we're, we're going to figure out how to deliver comics. Now, whether that's digitally, whether that is still doing them in print, through brick and mortar stores. I mean, like, let's hope. I mean, I don't, I don't want the stores to go away. So I think we should do whatever we can to help them. So I don't know. We're in uncharted waters, that's for sure. I'm just gonna get a sugar, mama. You mean yeah, uh, get a sugar mama? Oh, that's smart. <laughs> I figure I could take my savings and just move to some country where you could live off of, you know, like those ads where, you know, you can feed a child for 20 cents a day. <laughs> I guess it's a plan. Sounds like a plan, though. I figure if you can, if you can, if a child can live off 20 cents a day, then I can live off maybe 40 cents a day. Yeah. It's feasible. <clears throat> I remember getting a call once from uh, Keith Giffen. Oh, wow. And uh, he, for some reason, went off on a tangent about those, uh, <laughs> as he put it, those Sally Struthers commercials. Yeah. You know, with, with like, you know, the little kid, you know, uh, he's starving, you know, and he's got bugs crawling over his face. And he goes, and I'm thinking, well, why didn't the kid eat the bug? I mean, they're right there. I thought you get malaria or <laughs> intestinal worms. 
Well, I wish you'd been there to tell him that. I was just laughing too hard. Actually, I did see a story about uh, kids in Asia, like at uh, this kinder, kinder, or like, you know, uh, kindergarten level, and they they start the day by gathering locusts in the fields, and that becomes their lunch later on in the day. And it was like, yeah, all right, that that makes perfect sense. You know, and they they put them in a wok and they they fry it up, and I mean, these kids are like, yay, locusts! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Vad sitter hon gott då? Vad sitter hon gott då? I mean, in hell, I'd eat bugs as long as you disguise it well enough. Give them in some chocolate. I mean, what do they say? Uh, just eating regular stuff that's been sitting in factories. You know, you're eating a small percentage of bugs anyway. Vad du får då är bra. Jag har tagit det genom... Faccio a casa del taglio. You guys make it look pretty easy, that's for sure. Eating bugs? Uh, creating art. That too. When me and Kelly used to be roommates, I used to slip all sorts of crazy stuff into his food. I don't think that's true. You'll never know. Let's uh, zoom here on Merka. She's almost done with her cover. Uh, oh, sorry. And then we're going to take a little, uh, chow break. A few more. A few more food. All right, it looks like Mirka is done with hers. Nice. And thank you. Wow. Mirka.com for more Mirka stuff and information. She's going to send this to me as a gift for being such a nice guy. <laughs> Sorry, Jason. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Thank you, Mirka. Thanks to you. And thanks to all, and uh, very nice to do this uh, live with you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Good cool. hanging out with you, Marco. We'll see you next week. See you. Bye bye. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. And then there were three. I'll see if Eric. Is Eric still in here? <clears throat> Do we really want Eric? Well, Mindy, Mindy just wrote she's all of her commissions that she's going to take now. She's donating the proceeds to the food bank in LA. So, any of you guys in there want to donate and get a commission? You can do so over at essentialsequential.com under commissions. And she's going to donate all those funds uh, to her community of food bank. Nice, Mindy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Frank just woke up, so he can't. He doesn't want to stream until he gets his hair straight. You mean until he gets his toupee on straight? Everything, until he gets everything straight. 
Let's see. So how do you feel about a new Indiana Jones movie? <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to keep the conversation. Going. Don't be laughing at me. What new Indiana Jones movie? Is there actually going to be one? I thought so. That's what I keep hearing. Are there going to be any movies anymore? Well, that's well, yeah. Who knows now? Well, yeah, Indiana Jones is going to the yeah, I know the Corona case. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, I, I'm sort of like, you know, if they could, I don't, I, I don't like the idea of them leading off with the last one. Yeah, I, actually, I, I have to admit, I've never seen it. Um, I tried to watch it. I was kind of with it until they got to the jungle. And then once they got to the jungle, I was like, ah, I even, I was even fine with the, you know, the nuke the fridge gag. I didn't think that, that was as any any more ridiculous than you know some of the stuff they did in in the first movie or the second movie you know the whole bit with the raft oh yeah that was just on actually this morning what uh the second one yeah good old short round yeah how many people we got in here 21 32 oh 32 We've got, well, 20 in the Facebook and then seven, uh, 12 in the YouTube lobby. Gotcha. We need like a romper room kind of mirror to let us know who's in here with us. I see Johnny and I see Timmy. <laughs> it doesn't show me uh, unless you're commenting who's in the room. It just showed my age by that. No, there's a lot of that going around. How long did that go on for? What, romper room? Yeah. Oh, shit, I don't know. And we'll see when Sean is uh, going to jump on and the other guys. Probably Monday, Tuesday, we'll do another session. Sean Gordon Murphy? Sean Crystal. Yeah. No. I thought Eric was jumping on. Uh, me too. He's just ignoring me now. Can I show these flash 80-page uh, giant cover that you sent me? Uh, Which one? One of them is not solicited yet. The one with uh, the two figures on it, like yeah. in the sort of central kind of design, it's, that's not solicited yet. Okay. What about Revenge of Cosmic Ghost Rider? Uh, yeah, you can show that one. That one's uh, that that one uh, has been released online. And also, what's Doctor Tomorrow? That is a Valiant book uh, that I did the cover for. Doctor Tomorrow. <clears throat> All right. Well, this one is done. Uh, we'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. I'm going to switch over. There you go. Let me get a good angle here. 
Can't seem to get a good angle. Hold on. You see that? No. I'll scan it. Nice. Thanks. Who is that? Batman, of course. Nice. Batman. <laughs> Everybody, uh, wait. There you go. Let's see, Call Studio. Hey, everybody. Oh yeah, I'll 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 give you a little uh, tour of the studio here. Not very big. And uh, yeah. the table. So anyway. Ooh. All right. So. Um, Anyway, so that's done. Yeah. Uh, you want to do another one? What time is it? It is. How long have we been on? A little hour and a half. I was thinking about maybe another twenty minutes. Let Dave and John. Well, I'm almost done. Yeah, I'm almost. I mean, I'm done here. So, I uh, I have a couple of things that I need to do. Uh, so I might need to step away here for a little bit. That is quite all right. But I will scan this and I'll get it up on social media. Uh, it doesn't have an owner. If anybody wants it, uh, you can take a look at it there. Perfect. And then con contact Jason if you want it. You want it. They want it. What you should we do if we don't want it? Uh, then I'll pay them. <laughs> Sounds yeah. like a good plan. Good plan. Yeah. So anyway, um, so I guess I'm going to step out. Uh, it's good hanging out with everybody. Yeah, man. Thanks for stopping in. We'll uh, probably try to do it <clears throat> uh, early next week as well, yeah? Oh, okay. Sounds good. All right. Bye. Hey, Kelly. See ya. See you, Kelly. I think, I think he was going to let his camera run while no one's in the room. Hopefully, while he starts to undress. That would be delicious. I mean, I'm not wearing pants. Why should anybody else? I never wear pants. Mm -hmm. What are you doing the rest of the day, guys? Just drawn? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Not much else to do. You've been going outside to get a, a walk, a walk in? Yeah, yeah, no, of course. But, I mean, there's like nobody, nobody to hang out with. Yeah, it's kind of rough. Is there still a lot of homeless people on outside? Uh, Yeah, well, where else are they going to go? I don't know. I don't know if they start making shelters somewhere. What happens when they start getting sick? Nah, they don't care. They don't care about homeless people here in LA. They say they do, but they really don't. Ever since Reagan uh, took out the uh, protections and like like we used to actually you know shelter crazy people, and then he uh, cut the budget and just turned it into a revolving door, and uh, so now you know you see all these people on out on the streets and they're obviously nuts, you know they're talking to invisible people and stuff and. You know, there's nothing to be done about it. Uh, okay. Ridiculous. What's up? Well, I think the good news here is uh, I'm going to not have a haircut for another eight weeks. Well, the really good news is you really don't have that much haircut to, to cut. So. That's true. But I'm going to be uh, growing out my mutton chops. I'm going to see how big I can get them. Oh, nice. And it's going to be a good experiment. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I started cutting my own hair anyway, just because it was like, why am I paying somebody to do something I could do myself? Yeah. Hey, Maria. Maria's here. You what? Maria is here from Italy. Cool. I'm going to try to stream with them tomorrow or Monday. Wait, who is here? Maria Sanapo, you were drawing with her the other day. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They live in Tuscany, her and uh, Marco Santucci. Oh, 
Well, I hope this is what the, the guy who asked for this wanted. I think so. It's pretty rad. If he doesn't want it, I'll take it. All right. I mean, you said it was a cover recreation, right? Yeah. I mean, I changed it a little bit. No, that's, that's a good one. I mean, I backed up so you can see more feet. I actually changed those from the original. I changed the hand. Yeah. I mean, hopefully I'll like it. Yeah, I think he will too. If he doesn't, then uh, we'll just rip it up and start a new one. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head out and grab some lunch or something. I guess. Yeah, I need some food as well. Let's just check in with John real quick. Nice. Yeah, he's he's got a ways to go, dude. What if he's done? Oh my God. At least his uh, internet's a little more uh, secure. Faster. All right, Dave, are you going to be around later? Wait, how come John, uh, what is his microphone not work? Yeah, it's muted, I think. It was getting some crackling. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, I got to give you the thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, um, are you going to do this later on today? Um, I'm going to try to see who's around, who wants to partake. Yeah, I've got a couple more. I, I, well, I got that red hood, um, thing and some other ones, so. I think I sent you a new one yesterday. The what? I think I sent you an up, a new uh, a new commission request yesterday. You did? Yeah. Uh, Nick Fury, Agent of Shield. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, so uh, <laughs> hey, buddy. Um, um, looking good, by the way. I like it. <laughs> you can ask. Um, uh, Eric said he'd jump on. Let's see. He said he's getting uh, Cal's lunch ready, so. Maybe after, so an hour or two. Try to all right. fresh air and yeah. Send me a send me a note. I'll get back on. All right, thanks, man. I appreciate right. this. your piece before we go. You're scanning all these, yeah, for your next sketchbook. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. I'm gonna send you just a big, big package as soon as things quiet down a little bit. Um, yeah. So I'll give another week or two and just do a FedEx. Let's yeah, see. it'll be good. All right. Done and done, my friend. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. We'll uh, see you in a little bit. All right. See you guys. Later. All right. We're just here with uh, Mr. John. So it's the John Tim show with no audio. It's not going to be very entertaining. But I mean, this is proving that literally within six days of people not working, how six days, like how desperate they are of not having what small like income that they have. And it's like my boyfriend said, Hey, Jason. Uh, hey. I will finish and I will uh, scan it and send it uh, back to you. All right. Um, that sounds good. I'm going to go grab some food and go get some fresh air, walk the dog, and uh, we'll broadcast again a little bit later, yeah? Sound good?
All right, guys. John Bale. So we're going to get some food and relax a bit and try to come on a little bit later. And then uh, we'll have some more streams next week with Klaus and the guys and Mindy and hi, Mindy, and trying to get Andy Kuber on here and some of the other guys too. So stay tuned. Thanks for stopping in and uh, stay safe. We'll be back a little bit later. Bye-bye.